ଏବଂ ୱିଣ୍ଡୋଜ୍ ସର୍ଭର୍ ତଥ୍ୟ ଏହା ଅସଂକୃତ ଲୋଡ୍ ହେବାକୁ ପଡ଼ୁଛି ଆଉ ଅସଂକୃତିକୁ ବି ସେ ଲୋଡ୍ ପୂର୍ବ ହଟାଇବା ପାଇଁ ଏହାକୁ ଯଦି ପାସୱାର୍ଡ଼ ଛାଡ଼ିବା ଦ୍ୟାଟ୍ ଇଜ୍ ଅଫ୍ ଦ କାରଣ ନ ୱାଟ୍ ଆପନ୍ ଦିସ୍ କାରଣ ଆପନ୍ ଦ ଆପ୍ଲିକେସନ୍ ଅଫ୍ ଲୋଡ୍ ୱିଲ୍ ବକଲ୍ ଲାଇକ୍ ଦିସ୍ ରାଇଟ୍ ନାଉ ୱି କନ୍ସିଡ଼ର ସେକ୍ସନ୍ ଏଫ୍ ସେକ୍ସ ଇଟ୍ ଇଜ୍ ଆଟ୍ ଏ ଡିଷ୍ଟାନ୍ସ ଅଫ୍ ସ୍ମଲ୍ ଏକ୍ସ ଫ୍ରମ୍ ଦ ଏଣ୍ଡ ଏ ସିମିଲରଲି ଡିଫ୍ଲେକ୍ସନ୍ ଅଫ୍ ଦ କଲମ ଆଟ୍ ଦାଟ୍ ପର୍ଟିକୁଲାର ସେକ୍ସନ୍ ୱିଲ୍ ବି ସ୍ମଲ୍ ୱାଇ ଡିନୋଟେଡ଼ ବାଇ ସ୍ମଲ୍ ୱାଇ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଦ ଲେନ୍ଥ ଅଫ୍ ଦ କଲମ ୱିଲ୍ ବି ଏଲ୍ ରାଇଟ୍ ନାଉ ୱି ଆର୍ ଗୋଇଂ ଟୁ ଫାଇଣ୍ଡ ଦ ମୋମେଣ୍ଟ ଆଟ୍ ଦ ସେକ୍ସନ୍ ଏକ୍ସ ଏକ୍ସ ଇଟ୍ ଇଜ୍ ନଥିଂ ବଟ୍ ମାଇନସ୍ ପି ଅଫ୍ ଇଟ୍ ଇଜ୍ ଦ ଫର୍ମୁଲା ଅଫ୍ ଲୋଡ଼ ଇନ୍ ଟୁ ପର୍ପଣ୍ଡିକୁଲାର ଡିଷ୍ଟାନ୍ସ ଆଣ୍ଡ ୱି ଆର୍ ଗୋଇଂ ଟୁ ସବସ୍କ୍ରିଟ୍ ଇନ୍ ଦ ବେଣ୍ଡିଙ୍ଗ ମୋମେଣ୍ଟ ଇକ୍ୱେସନ୍ ରାଇଟ୍ ରିଆରେଞ୍ଜିଙ୍ଗ ଦ ସେମ୍ having the second order differential equation to solve this second order equation assume a square is equal to t by e i therefore we get d square i by d x square plus k square y is equal to zero in this particular case the particular integral becomes zero and the y solution will be the complementary function a cos kx plus b sin kx so here the boundary conditions are at x equal to 0 y is equal to e at x equal to l again y is equal to e because both ends are applied load eccentrically now substitute the boundary condition number 1 we get e is equal to a cos k0 b sin k0 simplifying we will get the value of constant a as the eccentric distance small e applying the second condition we get e is equal to again a will become e e cos kl plus b sin kl so simplifying we will get the value of constant b that is equal to e equal to 1 minus cos kl by sin kl using the trigonometric identities we will replace the values less e into 2 sin square kl by 2 this will become 2 sin kl by 2 cos kl by 2 so finally we will be getting b is equal to e into tan kl by 2 now we are going to find the maximum deflection of the column which will happen at the mid section so what you do is substitute x equal to l by 2 in the above equation so we get e cos k l by 2 plus e tan k l by 2 sin k l by 2 you do some modifications we get e cos square k l by 2 plus sin square k l by 2 divided by cos of k l by 2 
so this ultimately will become e cos k l by 2 and will be written as e secant k l by 2 right we already know k square is equal to p by e i therefore k will be equal to p by e i root over we substitute and we will get the final value y max is equal to e secant root p by e i into l by 2 next we are going to find the maximum bending moment m max is equal to p into y max so therefore we get p into e into secant p by e i root of l by 2 right now we are going to find the resultant stress this resultant stress will be combination of direct stress and bending stress so this bending stress you substitute the maximum bending moment value which is nothing but p into e into secant p by e i root l by 2 and this is a this called section modulus which is given by the formula i by y and again we know i is equal to a k square therefore sigma r is equal to p by a plus or minus p into e into y divided by a k square into secant p by e i into l by 2 so this resultant stress will be the maximum stress which is developed in this column written as sigma max equal to p by a into 1 plus c e into yc by k square secant pl square by 4 e i right we know from Euler's formula p critical is equal to pi square e i by l e square from this you find l e square by e i is equal to pi square by p critical so substituting we get the sigma max is equal to p by a into 1 plus e y c by k square secant p divided by p critical into root of pi square by right again rearranging we get e into y c c divided by k square secant pi by 2 root of p by p critical right to evaluate this value of secant pi by 2 root p by p c r right professor perry has found it an empirical value as 1.2 into p critical by p critical minus p these empirical values are based on values taken from the experiment right these are not uh, real values which will not have any concepts so you substitute this again into your sigma max you get 1 plus e y c by k square 1.2 p critical p critical minus so this will give the value of the maximum stress possible in your column again converting everything in terms of stress 
we know that our direct stress is equal to load by area and peak critical by area will give the Euler stress using this notation we get sigma max equal to sigma d into 1 plus e y c by k square 1.2 into sigma Euler divided by sigma Euler minus sigma direct right the final uh, modification will be like this sigma d sigma max minus by sigma d minus 1 is equal to e into yc by k square into 1.2 1 minus sigma direct by sigma Euler sigma max by sigma d minus Right, this above equation is famously called as Perry equation. Let us solve some problems in the next video.